you all might know how to forward an email in Gmail, right? So you just click on the forward button and put in the address of who you want the email to be forwarded to. But I'm going to show you a few more things you can do when it comes to forwarding your emails that you might not even be aware of. So let's get started. So I'm starting off simple and the first tip is to use the keyboard shortcut letter F for forward. So when you're in an email, simply click on the letter F and it opens up the forwarding message box here. So it works exactly the same as clicking on the forward button. So if I just come out of this, so the forward button is located at the bottom of the email here and it works exactly the same as clicking on the three dots over on the right hand side and going to forward that way too. So you know those times when you're in a long email thread of forwarded emails and the subject line looks something like FWD for forward and then a long subject line and it's completely random and you've got no idea what it's talking about. Well, when you forward an email to somebody, you've got the option of editing that subject line. So it makes it easier for the person who receives it to know what it's what you're talking about. So to do this, once you've clicked on the forward button or pressed the keyboard shortcut F, you then click on this little drop down arrow that's to the left of the to field here. There's a little drop down, click on there and click on edit subject. Now this opens up, let me just move myself. This opens up the email in a new compose window and you can then just overwrite the subject line here with a more suitable subject line. It's as easy as that. So moving on and my next tip is for when you forward a long email thread. It tends to look a bit messy for the person who's receiving it. Uh, messages are indented and it just looks a bit all over the place. While there is a way of forwarding them that keeps them all in line, it clearly states the subject and it lists them in date order starting from the earliest message first. So you no longer need a PhD to work out who said what and when. So this is ideal if you need to forward a long thread of multiple emails. So when you're in the email, you can see this is a long thread of multiple emails here. When you're in the email, instead of clicking forward or using the keyboard shortcut, go to the top of the email and click on the three dots here at the very top of the page for the more options. Then click on forward all. And you can see it opens the forwarding box and you can clear, see it clearly states here it's a forwarded conversation. You can clearly see the subject line here and it's in ascending date order. So the earliest one here is first. It keeps them all in line. It looks a lot tidier. It's easier to understand and you can see who said what and when. When you use this as a forwarding tool, it just makes it a bit easier for the person receiving it to make sense of it all. And job done. Now my final tip is to do with automatically forwarding emails to another email address. Now this is actually split into two tips. So the first one is when you want all of your incoming emails to be forwarded to somebody else. For example, if you're away and you have a VA or another member of your team that you want to deal with emails on your behalf. To set this up, you need to go into your settings. So to do that, you click on the gear in the top right corner here and then click see all settings. Then go over to the forwarding tab here across the top and this first section here is all about forwarding. So you simply add in the email address of where you want the emails to go to by clicking on add a forwarding address here. Put in the forwarding address, click on next and then you have to go through a verification process just to verify that it's really you and then that email is set up as a forwarding address. You then need to choose what you want Gmail to do with that email in your inbox. So once you've selected the forwarding address here, once it's set up, you've then got the option of keeping the email in your inbox, which would be shown as unread. You can mark the email as read. You can archive the email so it goes into the label all mail, or you can delete it. So I tend to leave mine in my inbox so I know what should have been dealt with whilst I was away but everybody is different, so it's up to you which one you want to use. And then remember to click on Save Changes down here at the bottom of the page once you're done. So my second tip is to do with this line just here, that you can also forward only some of your mail by creating a filter. Now this is a real handy feature, so if you only want emails from a specific sender to be sent to another email address, 
then you would set up a filter to do this. Now, a word of advice before you create the filter, make sure that your forwarding email addresses that you want to be set up are actually set up in this section here before moving on. So if we come out of here and to set the filter up, you click on this show search options icon to the right of the search bar at the top of the page and then put in the sender's email address in the from field here and then click on create filter and then scroll down and tick the box next to where it says forward it to and then you choose an address. This is why you need to have your addresses set up to begin with so that they're listed here. Otherwise, if you click on add forwarding address, it will take you back into your settings where you have then add it in that way. And it means you have to start all over again when creating the filter. So once you've chosen the correct email address here to forward it to, you then click on create filter and that's it, it's done. So any emails coming from that specific sender will automatically be sent to the email address that you've put in here. Now, another example of how you could use this filter is if you have a website contact form or an inquiry form that usually comes to you, you can create a filter so that it gets forwarded to somebody else in your absence. So your inquiry forms or your contact forms would more than likely have the same subject line each time. For example, um, contact from website or something like that. So you would leave the from field blank and just put in the subject line and then create your filter that way. You just have to make sure that the subject line is exactly the same as what it is on the contact form for it to work properly. So then you would click create filter and put in the address of where you want it forwarding to and job done. So I hope you've learned something new when it comes to forwarding emails in Gmail. Now I have got loads of Gmail tutorials that you might also find useful. So I'll include a link to the playlist just here. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite tip from this video. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.